So we're approaching Easter, the holiday of resurrection, of ascension, of elevating from the ground, from the mortal earthlings. And in that sense, problematic part of Christianity to those of us who believe that in a climate emergency, we need a, rather a descension than an ascension. So let's try this year an Easter in reverse. <laughs> I am going to explore that uh, theme in a few videos this year. In 1973, Native American uh, theologian Vine Deloria wrote God is Red uh, and in that book he writes It is doubtful if Western Christians can change their understanding of creation at this point in their existence. Their religion is firmly grounded in their escape from a fallen nature. And it is highly unlikely to suppose at this late date that they can find a reconciliation with nature while maintaining the reminder of the theological understanding of salvation. In other words, Deloria challenges Christianity by asking quite simply, what is salvation to you if it is not about elevation? What is Christian salvation if it is not to rise from a fallen nature and leave that nature behind and below? Well, I suggest this Easter, let's try the idea of celebrating Easter in Reverse by following uh, Georges Bataille to what he regards is the very heart of Christianity. Bataille is of course brought up a Catholic and so to him the Eucharist is at the very centre of Christian faith. And what is at the very centre of the Eucharist, he wonders, well, quite simply, flesh and blood, bread and wine. Going to the heart of that sacrament, Bataille suggests, would in fact demand of us nothing less than a reversal of what the Eucharist has become. He describes it as a consecration undone, a transubstantiation in reverse. Michel Foucault, also with a Catholic upbringing, he notices these findings and he says that Bataille has rediscovered something in the depth of Christian experience. And he calls it precisely a transubstantiation ritualized in the reverse, where real presence becomes again an actual body, an actual presence, and finds itself led back to its animal self, the bread and wine led back to their own beings, being actual bread, actual wine. So we're talking not the Christ of elevation this year, not the Christ of ascension, but a Christ nailed to a tree, becoming tree, becoming animal, becoming Christ, the descending Christ who leads the way to a salvation of dirt and mud, a salvation of the earth and its earthlings by way of a rethinking of the very heart of Christianity and the heart of the Christian sacrament of the Eucharist. Let's try that next time you go to Mass.